y'all. Welcome to Random TV Reviews. I'm your girl, Lynette. Your boy, Stan Lad. Listen, if y'all ain't never seen any of our other reviews, this is how we get down. We, we give it to you. Straight, no chaser, no edits, no nothing. Yes, But indeed. this is the first time that we're going to be reviewing Power. Yeah. So we're going to start it off. Season 3, Episode so one. 1. Call Me James. And we start off with the reopening of JSP, which is the nightlife, the club. Um, Cause y'all know that James from the last season, James is trying to go straight. He think he's going straight. Thank you. <laughs> so Ghost and Angela, they're walking into the club, got the grand opening, all of that, kind of just like Leviticus on Empire mm -hmm. or whatever. Hate to compare the two, but it is what it Same is. Same storyline. And Angela and Ghost go on up to the top to the catwalk, which I ain't feeling because I needed to be Tasha, but I'm in my feelings. Yeah. About it. And Ghost goes right to work. He's a businessman. He's trying to do things the right way. It is what it freaking is. <laughs> now, Andre, y'all remember Andre from last season, the mm -hmm. one that looked like a dinosaur? <laughs> A.K.A. Dominique. Yeah. Yeah, and his name, Dominique. Yeah. He's also working for Ghost at the club. They're having this banter back and forth about, you know, Ghost. Um, Andre, it's like, look, you call me James from now on. Yeah. And Andre... I mean, that's your name now. It's not going to be Dominique anymore because you're not doing the street stuff no more. See, this this is where we're going to run into a little problem because Dominique is a real street dude. Yeah. Dominique is like, when we going to push some weight? I want to make some real paper, some real bread. And Ghost is pretty much telling him, look, the kind of bread you're going to be making here, you can actually take to the bank and not your mattress. Dude was like... That's all good. Try, and yeah, I ain't trying to hear that. But I need that risk yeah. in my life. I need that. Yeah. I need that street in my life. Yeah. So I said, this ain't gonna last too long. Yeah, because he said I want to look clean on the outside, but I still <laughs> want to be dirty. So, you know, Basically. I ain't I ain't about this suit life. You know, I just want to look I'm the a, part. Yeah, I just want to look the part. But I'm still a thug. Don't get it twisted now. <laughs> yeah, don't get it twisted. So, um, the general manager, Cantos, he's still at the club with them or whatever. So far. <laughs> um, what else? Um, we get this part, because we're going to move forward through these. Because a lot happened in poor Ghost's office. Yeah. That we really don't need to run down everything. But at some point during the club opening and everybody mingling and jingling and getting their groove on... After all of that was said and done, Ghost was sitting in his office alone and reviewing the footage. Yes, King back. Cam. And he was in his office looking at his office, and this girl starts tiptoeing to his desk. In actuality, I thought it was Angela. Angela. But I yeah. said, Angela don't dress like that. So nah. who is this? Well, come to find out, he looked up the girl's file. It was a girl named Tatiana. Mm -hmm. Tatiana don't put one of those cards, and y'all know the cards. Yeah. Pretty much, they're the confirmation card when I have plucked off somebody. I've killed somebody. Yeah, or AKA Illuminati card. They you know about those. <laughs> so, she put the card on Ghost's desk. But if y'all remember, and if I'm remembering correctly, mm -hmm. Ghost already plucked that card when he so-called killed Lobos. Lobos. So now the girl is putting the card back on his desk, which is letting Ghost know Lobos that, ain't dead. Yeah, that player ain't dead. He's still alive. So Ghost got shook. Yeah. And looked up on Tatiana, and he texted Dominique, a.k.a. Andre, and said, when Tatiana comes to work, you let her know no, I, I need, need to see her. her. Yeah. Later on, we find out that Tatiana ain't never make it back to work. She didn't come in. So this is when Ghost becomes Ghost. He goes to her building. And the doorman was like, can I help you? He's like, yeah, come to see Tatiana. He rings the phone. She don't answer. Mm. But the whole time, Ghost is looking around, observing everything. Catches his, his name, name. Looks at his mm -hmm. schedule. Sees what time that he goes on breaking when he leaves out that door. And Ghost just happens to be in a jogging suit. Yeah. Right at the time that the dude walks out the door. Catches the door. Goes in. Had a little pin on the thing to catch the dough. I said that was tight. Yeah. So he goes up to Tatiana's apartment. Tatiana dead. She dead. Blood I figured she was. everywhere. I figured she was dead. I mean, they didn't show it, but I figured that she was dead. Because for her to be creeping around his office like that, it had to be some heat. Had to be put on her. And she was like, I need to let him know what's going on. Before I get plucked yeah. off. And that's uh -huh. basically what it is. There was a part on there where, where they was having to open it at the club. 
got done, Ghost stepped outside. I don't know if his conscience was playing tricks on him, whether he saw it or he didn't saw it. Yeah. But he looked across the street and he saw, saw Tommy. Tommy. And as quickly as he saw Tommy, Tommy said, boom. It was like Tommy became Ghost, Ghost became Tommy. <laughs> he mama, he mama, we season Ghost. That's why they call him Ghost. He get in, you know, pluck you off and he disappear. You never know he was there. So that's what it, that's what it was like. I was like. So back to Old Santos, there was a part in here where the detective came in to the club to ask um, Cantos some, yeah, Cantos some yeah. questions. And, you know, he was trying to mingle, talking about, about the girls, flash a little money, whatever. And from what I gather, Cantos didn't really tell him anything that we know of. Yeah. But later on in the episode, we come to find out that that daggone ghost pulled every employee together. And we call them round tables. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Had a round table. And he was like, you know, loyalty is everything to me. Thank y'all for a successful reopening. And I've been looking for a general mm -hmm. manager to do all three of my clubs. And this guy right here, Santos. Is it, why I keep calling him Santos? Cantos. Cantos. Look, I'm going to start calling him Mentos, Mentos. in a minute. Because <laughs> if y'all don't know anything about me, I make up the name. <laughs> so Mentos, he brings him up there and he was like, look. He is everything that I do, do not, not want, want in a general manager. As an employee, period. Matter of fact, get him yeah, off I, the property yeah, now. and put an order on him so that he can't come back in here. And he's like, what, 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 did, I, I, do? what did I do? I want to know what he did too. But yeah. evidently, Ghost knows something. Yeah, unless she saw him talking to that cop and they thought and he might have told him everything. But who fires an employee in front of the whole staff? Ghost. Yeah. I ain't never been fired in front of the employee. So, not only did he get fired, but he got embarrassed. That was embarrassing. That was embarrassing. Oh, so, man. I actually thought that he was getting ready to say that Dominique, a.k.a. Andre, was going to step up and be the general manager over the three stars. And I think Andre thought that, too. Yeah, so maybe that might be coming down the pipeline so he can get some real paper, you know, being a general manager. But I don't think he's still going to be full because he, he make a lot more money pushing weight in the street. I don't know nothing about he that. He need that reach. I just that heard right? about it. <laughs> Angela tells Ghost, look, I think I'm going to put in a transfer at my job to be moved to an another department. It's going to require me to work a whole lot more hours, blah, 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 blah. He was like, you know, with these three clubs, basically I'm going to be doing yeah. the same thing, so we're not going to be able to see each other. But then this chick, this wench, she going to say, um, I'm ready to meet your kids. Like, what? Whenever you're ready for me to meet the kids, I'm ready to meet the kids. I'm like, you, you straight tripping. Dirty. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. So you must really, really, really want Tasha to kill. So you ain't know you ain't know the real Tasha. See, I remember Tasha yeah. when she was Lil Kim. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on uh, on Victoria's B. I. G. the movie. So Yeah. It is what it is. So she goes in to put in that request to her boss. And he was like, Nah. Nah. He said because um Lobos ain't dead. Nah. She was like, what? Uh, yeah, Lobos ain't dead. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to do a Jane, um, John Doe case, a John Doe prosecution, which pretty much means that everybody else going to think he did. Yeah. But we all of his assets are going to be seized, all of that. We're going to try him and protect him at the same goddamn time. But his lawyer is like, no, we need to extradite him to Mexico. And they was like, if we do that, all they're going to do, all they're going to do is just start pushing weight over there. All over again, yep. They pretty much was like, that's their problem over there. But at the end of the day, even though he in their custody, he's still pushing weight. He's still, he pushing he, more weight. He's still pushing weight. And how you, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, let's back up. How are you going to be in custody with the police and still have a cell phone? He, he still he got a cell phone that make telephone calls. He sure did. Yeah. But when you, when you said that, um... They think that he was dead. I was thinking about the church song where, you know, they say, you know, Jesus is not dead. He's still, he's still alive. alive. So Lobos, Lobos is not dead. He's, he's still, still alive. alive. <laughs> <laughs> so Ghost goes to see Tasha. Now, this fool, I know Ghost don't fell and bumped. He already bruised up, so I'm going to let him have. I'm just going to let him have it. But he goes and tells his wife, look, we need to talk about Angela. Hey, what? And her meeting the kids. She said, whoa, 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 whoa. player. What about talking to your kids about oh, Sean, Sean? The person that was in their life every day. Yeah. Of how all of a sudden he was murdered. And matter of fact, wait a minute. 
Look at your face. How did your face get like that? What you do? Did you have anything to do with, with Sean's Sean? death? He was like, no, you know, I would never do nothing about that. Um, do nothing like that. But he said, I will tell you this. He said, Canaan killed Sean. Mm -hmm. And in return, I killed Canaan and Lobos. And now I'm out the game. So she was like, ghost, I don't believe nothing you say. She nope. was, he was like, call me James. So he was like, you know what, Tasha? You can call Tommy. Tommy yeah, will vouch for it. Yeah, he Because when all it. of that was going down, I was getting Tommy out of jail. Yep. So, you know, he knows that I didn't kill Sean, and he does know that I killed Kanan. So I was like... True. Yeah. True. So, basically, that was the end of that conversation. But he also let Tasha know, look, Tommy's in charge now. You know, it's a little rift between the workers because they don't really want to work. They don't trust no Tommy. For Tommy. Because Tommy, Tommy is reckless. Tommy crazy. Yeah, you can't tell me Tommy ain't that crazy in real life. Yeah, he is so reckless. He just, I mean, you fool with Tommy, you going to be locked up. That's all I got to <laughs> say. You're going to get locked up. You might make a whole lot of money, but you're going to have to pay in the attorneys to get yourself out of jail. Yeah, you lie. Because he going to throw you underneath the bus. I'm telling you. So Tommy is letting everybody on the streets know, look, I know how to push big weight. He out there like, yeah. he out there being a salesman. To be yeah, the pusher. Like he's selling Kirby's or something. <laughs> so Tommy goes out to all the different um, gangs and the affiliations and the big time um, um, distributors and everything. And he was like, look, I know how to push weight. I know how to do it where the feds ain't going to catch on to it. I was like, whatever, Tommy. Listen, whatever. Tommy went to the Spanish guys. Spanish guys was like, okay, but I thought you were working with ghosts. Okay. Nah, no, all right. Uh -uh. Nah, it's went, me now. Went to the Chinaman. And the Chinaman was like, do you work with ghosts? And he was like, no, we don't. He said, good, because I don't work with niggas. I don't like, trust them. It's like, what? But he ain't said with a A. He said niggers. Yeah. I said. Say, like, wait a minute. This what we doing? Then he went to the goddamn priest. And the priest was like, you know, yeah, my I schedule is always push. free. Yeah. Except so for on Sunday. Sunday. I can't push no weight on Sunday because I got the pratch. <laughs> First green leaf, now this? <laughs> Oh my God! But he was a Catholic priest, though. Say, you know, he won't, you know, Pentecostal. You Leave know, it alone. Church of God in Christ. Leave he it was, alone. He's a Catholic priest. <laughs> so are y'all trying to tell us that's how the Catholic Church got all the money? The Catholic Church. They pushing. They pushing weight. Push your weight. Except for Sundays. Yeah, except for they don't push no weight. Keep on the Sunday. Sabbath holy. Yeah, they just pushing communion cups and wait for um God to bread. So did we see um because there's an interview that needs to be had with Lobos. Angela, all the other cops, all that, and um, um, attorneys, all of that, is having his interview with Lobos. Lobos is shaking Angela down. He's mm -hmm. trying to break her down. He's telling her, look, why do you work? But he's doing it in his language, and I guess it's, yeah. is it Spanish? I don't yeah, know. I think it's Spanish. Spanish. Yeah, I think it's Spanish. Um, and he's breaking her down, talking about some, why do you work? Somebody pretty like you should only be focused mm -hmm. on what's stuffed in your mouth, mouth my cock, cock, and all and this. All. And, and, and what? at this moment, I remembered why I secretly like Lobos. Because he's funny as hell. <laughs> yeah, he is. He, got, <laughs> he, he look like he run around all day taking Percocet. That's what he <laughs> act like. Have no care in the world, no nothing. Making all this paper, pushing weight, and just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And he was like, you know, everyone's going to think I'm dead. Yeah. And, but pff, I'm not dead. I'm, de I'm still here. I'm still here, and I'm still <laughs> making calls, and I'm still pushing weight. Maybe y'all can help me with this, because, um, you know, I'm not trying to judge our Latin community, Spanish community. But on movies, why is it when they get pissed off, they start talking in Spanish, but when they talk calm, they go back to English? <laughs> I don't understand. Can y'all just, you know, if... But it's not just Spanish because our Africa, our Nigeria friends, when they get pissed off, they yeah. start... But so it's like, can you not argue in English? You only can argue in Spanish, but talk regularly in English? I just, I ain't trying to judge y'all, but let me do... Because I was like, kept going backwards. So when he was threatening her, he was threatening her in Spanish, but when he talked regular to her, he was talking in English. Mm, that's true. Yeah, we need English. Lobo. <laughs> <laughs> so Lobos lets them know that the what is it the Hermendezes are trying to kill him, and pretty much that's why he's alive because they cheap and they don't know how to get the job done. So at this point, Angela is like, "Oh, so he don't suspect that it was ghosts that really, yeah, you know, tried to take him out." I was like, 
Don't you let that crazy, don't you let this yeah, fool Yeah, uh-huh. He still got game up his sleeve now. Y'all got him with that cell phone, so he still got game now. Uh -huh. He ain't stupid. So, Tasha, she eventually runs into Tommy because Tasha's been trying to call Tommy. Tommy don't want to talk to Tasha. But y'all know that Tommy and Tasha have a real relationship. Yeah, they like that. Yeah. They're real like brother and sister. Mm -hmm. And she was like, what is going on between you and Ghost? Why y'all not talking? Basically, Tommy pissed off because Ghost got out the, the guy game. doing game. Mm -hmm. So, Tasha was like, Sean's dead, Tommy. So, you can see um, Tommy break a little bit. He was like, what? Uh -huh. He was like, well, I'm sorry about Sean. And then she, he went ahead and confirmed to Tasha, look, yeah, what Ghost told you was true. He did kill Kanan, mm -hmm. and he did take out Lobos. Bye, Tasha. Bye. I said, dirt. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Tommy gets this call from Lobos. And Lobos said, <laughs> well, first of all, let me back this train up. Tommy was getting ridden. By his girl Holly, when the cell phone rang. Now, how you gonna be in the middle of your grind? Getting you some boot tang. He ain't have yeah. a special ringtone or nothing, so you didn't know who that was. Yeah. And he just goes and answers the phone and push Holly off to the sofa. Nah, she won't ride in good enough. See? Nah. Yeah. Cause that. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah, we ain't gonna, we ain't nah. gonna, we ain't even gonna, we ain't gonna drive down that road. Some kids so, might be watching. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't know why y'all would be watching this. So um. <laughs> Lobo said, Tommy, I got some weight for you to push, but I told you, in order for you to get all the weight, Ghost needs to be dead. And if Ghost is not dead, then your cute little family will, something will happen, happen to, to them. them. They're not going to be safe. They're not going to be safe. <laughs> I said, can I, can I have a meeting with him at least 30 minutes a day so I can get my laugh? I swear I would have I would get all my life by sitting there talking to him for just 30 minutes a day. That's all the therapy I yeah, need. Yeah, that was saying your therapy, yeah. Oh my god. Say so you like, stress, you stressful. Get go see get, yeah, go see label labels and get you a goddamn camera. He was like, what can I do for you? No, I'm gonna start calling him Love Boat. That's what it's all like he on. <laughs> <laughs> That's the stuff. So, <laughs> what? That's how people act when they were smoking love boat. Yeah, basically. So Tasha and Ghost, they finally had to sit down, meet with the kids or whatever, and they tell them about Sean. But they kind of did it in a way, they kind of let them know that where they're from, this just happens. Mm, you know, them. but as long as you do what we say, because be we are right. from the streets, you're going to be all right. Mm -hmm. And the kids was looking at them like yada yada yada. Boom! Daddy. They was like, "This is yeah, boom. basically." And the daughter was like, "Well, when you coming home, daddy?" He was like, "I'm not coming home." Yeah, they ain't in the plan. You done broke up your family for this. Yeah. She, and she ain't even got no butt. She ain't got not not a stroke. I She's said. all back, from the neck down to her got no ankles back. So now that Tommy is pushing weight, he's trying to make a name for himself. But Tommy is reckless. He Very has. reckless. Tommy don't wrap these two dudes up in bubble wrap. Yeah, like he get ready to ship them the, them bastards to China. And freaking took them to the top of a building and pushed one off and he bounced. Doof. He said, I told you. I told you what was going I told you he was going to die. He might got a few broken, broken bones, but he all right. Until it's... now. Doof. I said. I was like, Tommy. So then the other guy's begging for his life. No, no, no. I'll do whatever you want me to do. Da, 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 da. Push him off the ledge, too. But Tommy raised up yeah. his guy doing a hoodie and his mask and exposed himself and pretty much told the guy, tell everybody that Tommy did it. Yeah. Like, you fool. So, you, homeboy, what's his name? Um, Is it? No, I'm trying um, to call him Cantos. Um, Julio. Julio, yeah. Julio was like, this some bull. There's some bull. So soon after he got free from um, Tommy, he goes to the club to uh -huh. see Ghost. And he was like, Ghost, I ain't signed up for yeah. this. I'm supposed to be working for you. Yeah, you the one got me out the yeah. game. And I'm supposed to be working for you. Dude over here is just reckless showing his face. That would have yeah. never went down yeah, on your Ghost watch. Yeah, Ghost would have never did that. And he was like, but you work for Tommy now. Tommy is yeah. in charge. Yeah. So I'm, either you in this game or you out, out the game. But yeah. me as in being ghost, I'm out. I'm, I'm James. James. <laughs> I'm James now. So 
homeboy was like, well, you know what? Let me go ahead and go ahead and do my work and go make me, let, let me t make this drop. Did he say at the Marietta? At the Elizabeth or something like Elizabeth that. Elizabeth Marietta something. Yeah. And he said, y'all still, still doing the drops there? there? He was like, yeah, as yeah. long as Lobos is alive, we're going to be doing, doing drops there. He said. He said. But he ain't say nothing though. Uh -huh. he, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Confirmation number two. Yep. That Lobos is alive. So homeboy goes ahead and leaves out. Ghost is shook again. Yep. I said, Ghost, mm -hmm. you better get your head. You said you, you thought you were in the clear. In the yeah. game. So then Angela confronts Ghost about Julio coming to the club because Julio got this 718 it, yeah. um, tattoo on his neck. It was like, I know he's, he's in the gang. gun affiliation. Da 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 da. Mm -hmm. In so many words, Angela, you ain't about this life. Nah, you don't know what's happening. So James Ghost was like, look. I told you that's my past. He came to ask me about something, blah, blah, blah. Then this wench gives all the deets yep. about the federal case. Lobos is alive, but he, technically he's dead on paper. He's dead to everybody except for the feds. It's a fed cover-up. Mm -hmm. But they don't suspect you of anything, so you're safe. You're in the clear. You're good. But she said if anything was to happen, to this me. ain't my job. I'm going to jail. Yeah. So, I was like, mm-hmm, that's what you need to be, wench. Yeah. Because y'all can remember, you know, the previous season, Mama, she, once she found out that Ghost was in the game, she wanted to leave him alone. But, but she loved But the uh, ding, 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 the uh, ling, ling, ling. Was too much for her. Too much for it. She couldn't walk away. So now <laughs> she got all her life on the line. Her job, her career, everything is on the line. So, uh, she, I don't know. I, I still don't know her angle, though. Yeah, because I don't you, trust her. Because you remember before, in the previous season, she was working to try to take him down. But she kind of reneged on the deal, your mama. Mm -hmm. So, I don't, yeah, I, yeah, I don't I don't trust her. I don't trust her at all. Yeah. So, you go back to Tasha, the original OG. Hello. Yeah, she got, you know. She, she had Big and Smalls back. Yeah, <laughs> she she covering up case, you know, your you know, your dirt for you and burning up your clothes and all that stuff. Yeah. I ain't see Angela do not one thing to help you out. But she try to snitch on you. Yeah, that's it. She ain't done nothing for you. So then but these Tom hoes ain't loyal. Goodbye. <laughs> so Tommy comes home and he's got this music playing and all of this. And he's hollering, holler, holler, holler. He got a pizza in his hand. <clears throat> no dig on holly. Say where did Holly go? All of a sudden, we see this trail of blood. blood. I said, "Oh!" I said, "Holly did. Holly did. She did." Somebody don't slit the dog's throat. I said, "Did Lobos do that?" Because he already yeah. threatened him and said, "If you don't yeah. hurry him, take ghosts out, your little family is gonna be." Oh, we know we talking about the dog. Your not gonna be safe. Not the dog though. But I, we had two freaking scenarios. We said either Holly got pissed off because when she was trying to give him some. He just left out the door because she told him no answer the phone. Right. He answered the phone anyway, and then he left. So, you know, she didn't even get none. So, either she killed her own, because you remember, he was the one that bought her the dog. Right. So, she could be sending him a message to say, hey, you don't, you know, mess yeah. with me. I'll kill you know, your dog. <laughs> I'll kill your dog. Next time I'm going to kill you, but I'm just sending a message I'll kill your dog. Or, like she's like uh, my baby said, either Lobos put a hit on the dog. I don't know why you put a hit out on the <laughs> dog. I mean. Well, you kind of hit. You yeah, hit yeah. below the belt first to let yeah. them know that I'm serious. But I'm glad, you know, you ain't kill no kids or grandmas or cousins or something like that. Lobos don't care. He think yeah. I, will kill I will kill you whole family. They be dead in the street and they don't even care. <laughs> you know, just just give me some Molly and I'll just be okay. <laughs> Go. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the ending of it all, which I knew was going to happen. I, and I knew was it. here yeah. for it. Yes. <laughs> Ghost picks up his cell phone. And he calls Tommy. And Tommy didn't answer the phone, which we knew he wasn't. Nah. And he left him a message. He said, Tommy, we, we need, need to talk. talk. It's Ghost. ghost. Not said, James. <laughs> Not James. It's Ghost. I knew he was coming back in the game. I, I knew he was going to stay out of the game. No. But mind you, Ghost don't know that Kanan is alive. Yeah. Because you remember, he broke out that goddamn he place. Broke he broke out. Yeah. How he broke out, I don't, I don't know. even know. I don't know. But we started off good, so we're going to see what this season of um, Power going to bring us. Yeah, and I'm, I'm here I'm for here. it. I first say, I'm, I'm here for it. All right, y'all. Well, straight from the VA. The Dirty, Dirty South. Two, two up, up, two down. down. Holla. Holla.